Shalom. Call hello, Yahweh by Shemai with Shai, by Hashem with Kakwadash. Double honors unto the apostles, double honors unto the uh, elder bishop. Salutations to all my fellow laborers doing this work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so now more so than ever. To the scattered elect that are scattered around the four corners of the earth, that be like unto the speckled bird, the Israelite foreigners. And to the Akwath that are listening and learning to you, I say Shalom. This is your brother Malcolm uh, coming at you with a quick lesson. And um, as you can see, this is the watch, the name of the video. You can see it at the bottom. Washington Post uh, Health 202 event on chronic disease and BCBSA CEO Scott Sirota. So you can watch this video. I highly suggest you watch it. This was done. It wasn't even talked about until after the fact. You have to remember that in 2019, around the same time they did this one, they did Event 201. And the exercise was an exercise of a world pandemic and how they would operate. And 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 you all know what happened um, a couple short months later at the end of December going into January uh, here in America and around the world. And now they just did another exercise that's supposed to be even bigger in even more countries and you can see Blue Cross Blue Shield, you know, as a sponsor of this. It's the Washington Post. This is real. This is not fake. It's not pretending. It's the identical plan. You know, when Esau Edom does something and it works, they just do it over and over again. This is what they do. So, you know, if you're going to fall for it, um, because they're setting the traps, you know, so I can't pity you, you know, the, 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 you know, the the you the one who's charming the snake it. Let me grab that scripture. You know, you play with snakes, you're gonna get bit, man. I think that's uh Ecclesiastes or Ecclesiasticus. Yes, rock. Right, and it reads, uh, Ecclesiasticus, or the book of Sirach, 12 and 13, and it reads, Who will pity a charmer that is bitten with a serpent? Or any such as come nigh a wild beast, you know? So, right, you go, you know, you go playing with the wild beast, and then that beast grabs you up, you know, you're trying to pet it, you know, because you think it's, a, it's, it's pretty or it's cute, you know? You pet it, you start playing with a bear. I mean, you've even seen it on TV with, with, uh, <laughs> Small animals. I've seen a cat, a, a woman put her face in a cat's face and a, the, the cat, locked, you know, latched onto her face with all his claws. You know, on, on, it was a news report on TV. So things happen, man. You can't, you know, you playing with snakes and then that snake bites you, you know. You remember what happened to the crocodile hunter? Right. You know, you, event, you keep playing with animals and keep playing with things. Basically, what it really comes down to is that people are tempting the Lord. You know, and with all the injuries, you know, uh, you know, that surround certain events, I won't say any things, or, you know, because they'll definitely try to, you know, hit you with, uh, with the miss or disinformation charge, you know. So with all the all the deaths, all the sudden deaths, you know, surrounding certain events and certain things, you know, and people still don't want to. Um, listen, and then and then they kind of hid this because they didn't. This wasn't like broadcast, you know, um, over you know over over uh, uh, um, all these you know channels and things like that. And even though this particular video, you know, uh, got 10k views, it was over four years ago. But they did just actually have an event 202, uh, just a couple short months ago. All right. So um, let me go grab another scripture. So, you know, and, and it's a perfect extraction, too, because someone, uh, some lady is, is talking about testifying and bringing out all this information about Epstein. You know, I was trying to find that video. That's the one I actually wanted to play in the background. But I can't uh, can't remember, you know. <laughs> where it is or who sent it to me. And of course, I'll find it later. 
but you got a woman who wants to testify um, on the events that took place that she has a, a, a videotape. And, and it's just like, it's the same identical thing. The Epstein thing was hot and then COVID came out and just drowned that story. And event 201 happened, COVID got hot. I mean, if, if the Epstein story happened and drowned out event 201, which turned into, you know, then COVID came later. And it's just like, you know, it's the same playbook. You had this new event. Um, and now you having this, uh, this woman coming forth who, you know, uh, who's, uh, saying she has videotapes of certain, uh, high ranking individuals in society and, and how she had extra. So if something happens to her, you know, uh, if something happens to her, she's going to put, you know, put everyone and everything on blast. It's just, it's just a whole bunch of, uh, it's just a whole bunch of mess. And I'm trying to find it, but I can't right now. But, uh, let's, anyway, let's just go to the next scripture. Because, you know, they tried to put this under wraps and hide it. That's literally what they tried to do. All right. So um, go to Isaiah 53. Isaiah 59 and 15. And it reads, Woe unto them that seek deep to hide their counsel from Yahweh, and their works are in the dark, and they say, Who seeth us and who knoweth us? All right. So they, they do all these things on the, and, and a lot of things happen over the holidays too. You know, these, these, they make these big decisions when people are away on Christmas, uh, you know, on Christmas holiday or the holiday, you know, the Hanukkah, the, the, the Kwanzaa Christmas, the, the, you know, you'll have these people get together and, 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 uh, you know, and write up all these laws and sign things into law and vote things into, you know, into, into being while everyone's away. Are not focusing. So it's just a lot of distractions going on. Meanwhile, a lot of things are going on. They're talking about, you know, lockdowns for your own safety. They're going to be far beyond the ones that we went through before, which America nor the Western world will survive it. You know, I do honestly believe that the people will just uprise and rebel uh, to the fullest extent this time around. The small businesses and the ones that are left, <laughs> the few that are left, um, restaurants and things of that nature there won't survive another a round of lockdowns and that whole sort of thing all right and all that's also connected to the digital currency that's about to roll in so it's just so much on the table so many prophecies that are happening you know that are that are, that are in the works and are actually coming to pass plus these new plagues and it's just you know and all this is happening in the midst of 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 world war three because you can't forget that you know um over in Ukraine and Russia, you know, that their missiles flying back and forth. There are troops on the ground from, from all around the world, including troops from Babylon at this point. You know, it's still hot in, in the Valley of Jehoshaphat, you know, in the whole Syria area. It's, it's hot um, over in the east, you know, over there in the China Sea between uh, Taiwan, uh, China, and, and Japan. And whoever else is going to get involved when all these things happen. You know, even the Caribbean is, has become a hotbed for opposition between the West, you know, and and, uh, and 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 the BRICS nations. So just instability is just be is just you know, and eventually the dam is gonna break, and and the, and the flood of craziness is gonna come. All right, what they call it, the Lazarus virus. You know, how they talking about, and then they actually put that on the news. You know, there's a couple news stations that talked about their story. Some virus where the person actually died, but their their body like reanimates, even though their heart and their their heart is stopped, their brain is stopped, but then their their eyes open and they start like moving around again. All right, <laughs> you know, damn near you know fifty something years of zombie movies. So I guess they perfected their uh, <laughs> they finally perfect perfected the recipe. All right. But this is Daniel 8 and 25. All right. Because they're going to come with these lockdowns saying that it's going to be good for the people. And um, that's not true. As a matter of fact, I'm going to hold off on Daniel. Let me go to Job first. I get that Daniel last. This is Job uh, 15 and, and 35. 
and it reads, they conceive mischief and bring forth vanity and their belly prepare of deceit. So they're going to use, uh, you know, they're going to weaponize common things that's been happening to people for, for thousands of years. And now all of a sudden, those same things are now, you know, people look this time of year, people get people get sick and then some people get sick and die every year since recorded history. All right. Especially here in the, in the Americas. All right, every this whole, you know, uh, uh, this 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 time of year, going from uh, my birthday is in February, so you know I was born in the winter in Chicago. So I just remember, you know, every you know people would get would get the flu. All right, they would get the flu, and uh, I've had the I've had the flu three times in my life. All right, I had it in my uh, my junior year in high school. I had it, uh, I got it when I was like 29, right after I took about 20, no, I, was, I think I was about 27, 28. I took a flu shot and then got, got the flu about two, three days later. And I never took another one. And I had, because I hadn't had the flu all the way up until then, listening to my damn coworker. All right. Went with her and we went and got one together. All right. And then I got, got sick after that. Um, and I never got the flu again, literally up until 2020. When I got whatever everybody had was, you know, the COVID, whatever they had, I got really sick and I was sick for three days. That's it. It was horrible, but it was three days. I lost my sense of smell. By the fourth day, I could smell again. I felt better. I was fine. All right. That's what happened, you know, and uh, and that's it. And I haven't been sick since. All right. In that way. All right. So, you know, it's just weaponizing things that's been happening to people all along. It's, you know, just kind of questionable. All right. So. uh, And they're going to do this. All these things are going to be implemented for peace and safety, but it's, it's not at all. It's just for more and more control. All these uh, future lockdowns that are, that are just around the corner, along with the digital currency. All right, because you're going to have problems and resistance of that when they just finally just kill cash, because that's that's what they're on the verge of doing. All right. All those uh, cryptocurrencies weren't just and all those cryptocurrency creators they, they were, that were dying right along with their cryptocurrencies. All of it didn't happen for nothing. But this is uh, Daniel 8 and 25. And it reads. And through his policy, he shall cause craft to prosper. You know, sneakiness. Their evil plans, craft to prosper in his hands, and he shall magnify himself in his heart, and by peace shall destroy many. Because he's going to be, we're bringing peace and safety, yet he's destroying people's lives and and destroying people. All right, he shall also stand up against the prince of princes, but he shall be broken without hand. Because pretty soon, you know, Yahweh is going to give the green light for Yahweh Shah to come. And and uh, and Esau is going to try to stand up against the Lord. You know, all these all these so-called uh, AP, what do they call them, uh, uh, aerial phenomenons, UAPs, unidentified aerial ph ph phenomenons. Those are the chariots of, of Israel. Those are the Lord's vehicles. All right, the angels travel in them. That's the Lord's military, His air force. And uh, and these 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 uh, forces here on, on the on the ground, which are his elect, are gonna get activated. So the Lord's gonna come, and he's gonna turn up on them. So right as they're about to fill their belly, it's all gonna backfire on them. It's gonna be you know, their their evil plans are gonna get foiled, you know. And there's really nothing that they can they can do about it. You know, except for just uh, give out full blown oppression because they know that they have a short time left. So they're going to come. They're going to come with everything that they got to try to stop what's, what's about to happen to them. But they're going to fail. All right. So with that, I'm going to give all praises, all honor and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakadash, and Wa Ababa Ba, Kwam Yasharala Shalom.